I actually need 10 coins, but there's 8 coins in this gun. I don't know what to talk about. You want me to talk about the plot? Um, yeah, you're a custodial scientist. That's a fancy name for general. That's actually the actual term that they use in the game. I bet you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thanks, uh, for yeah, no All my preparation for this marathon has really paid off. Um, so there's some angry dragons that pop out of the game for whatever reason. Wow. Uh, I've played the game before, actually. Sorry, this isn't a blind. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, those guys are a little bit random. I know that's a pretty epic excuse, but I, I did it again. Now that I'm done embarrassing myself. Actually, uh, this boss can go wrong too if I get unlucky, so... Yeah, his hitbox is above the uh, above the ground, so you gotta jump and shoot at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, between the <laughs> well, it's uh, he takes like 66 damage uh, in the first phase and 34 in the second. So now he's got a way of guns, and he'll be able to. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, this, this is basically the only weapon we need for the rest of the round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah they ha it helps, but you know it's not like that imperative. Also, we're gonna get a hard charge just like we did in Cave Story. Hopefully, this time save it for the very end. And unlike in Cave Story, this isn't like a use item. It's just a, uh, it uses itself like upon death. <laughs> well, it's made by the same guy who made the story, so. Are you saying he can, he's plagiarizing against himself? You're welcome. What else am I here for? Yeah, basically. I mean, I, I died on on the first level. How good could I be? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to press down on the D-pad, okay? The down button is not used anywhere else in the run, except at the very beginning. I wasn't warmed up. So I'm going to upgrade this weapon once and get another hard container. Uh, and hopefully, you know, not lose it before the boss because I need to take two hits on the boss in order to kill him fast. What do you guys think of the music in this game? Because, yeah, obviously you can hear it right now. It's not coming through the headphones. What's chat playing? Say that? It wasn't no. Alright, so this is the boss. Um, the first phase is some of these little like minions that are also part of this health bar. As you can see, the health bar going down the second one. Then he spawns. He runs at you. So I'm just gonna like, damage this for him. I don't even know what it is. It's a big. It's a big like Cyclops in the
what? I, li I, li I like to think that the mud thing that he fought is a dog, but it's got mud covered all over it so oh. you can't tell. You have to project, remember? <laughs> Yell into the mic! Yeah, that was that was intentional. Thing. I all the damage I take throughout this entire run is intentional. Alright, so this pink bat, he's gonna try to summon his friends, but we're not gonna let him. Uh if you just kill him before he flies off screen, he you know, he dies like most enemies. E except that he doesn't create this like, you know, twenty second long avoidance fight with all of his buddies. More intentional damage. More intentional damage. Alright, we're collecting coins though. I know I didn't have to explain that to the people on the couch. For the chatters. I'm sure they appreciate it. Um, I'm actually gonna like not kill this guy as fast as possible because uh you get some of uh, these things which drop coins. And uh, the th the reason for that is because I need a bunch of rain coin drops in the next area and this kinda like mitigates that need. Actually I should have a little deal. Cat and frog. We're the cat part of the uh, cat and frog uh opening. So uh, in this next section, you're supposed to like wait on all these like platforms. But you can just jump high enough out of the water to uh, you get right out like that. Another thing like that. I hear whispering behind me. Okay. <clears throat> this tire is coming out first. Not up the same amount of tires. We're walking away from it. Now we have a fish boss, and uh, what we get from the fish boss is going to be a jetpack, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna wait for the fish to die over the center of the bubble. Let's keep going as well. Oh no. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, I, that's why I had no fish. Yeah, usually you don't want to run too low because then that gyro goes away and mm -hmm. it costs 333 or something like that. Yeah, 330 I think. Yeah, so that's like another, that's if you want lot. the gyro you have to buy it now so it kind of eats into your uh, your upgrade money. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to farm for coins a little bit later on. <laughs> <laughs> How's the capture situation, guys? Oh my gosh. I can't collect coins. <laughs> um, so what I just did there uh, was called like the tire skip, I guess. I don't know if you have enough to name, but basically by jumping on enemy's head, I don't need to do a bunch of vertical platforming in this next room. And it's coincidentally right next to um, uh, chest with uh, hundred some coins, which is pretty useful. I need 300 for the next upgrade, but I'm going to uh, get them from the spots. Easy boss. The theme with a lot of bosses is that you just get really close to them and press the button fast. 
So, this is like the only one that they... The freeway spread can be done. Why? You can match mm -hmm. better with this one? Yeah, and it goes from 3 damage to 8 damage, so... It's uh, pretty useful. And as you'll see, uh, this next boss, it pretty much destroys them. No. There's no plot to this game. You're just a frog and you just jump around. Yeah. Well, I mean, the moles hit up, they're throwing bombs. Seems more destructive than anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe on their part. As you can see, the quad's pretty powerful. It's nice that you get fire from the fire truck. Oh, is it a fire truck? I never thought about that. It's not a very good fire truck, it's a fire missile. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Um, I'm not very fun. I like pepperoni pizza. Okay. Or regular uh, deep dish. Deep dish. Yeah. Are you communicating to them in real time? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I'm reading it and then I'm asking you, so you're. Yeah. <laughs> but but we're circumventing the uh the Twitch delay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not oh okay. I guess we'll get the uh, pizza choice. Um, dude, I'm glad I changed some young person's life. Um, so I got what's called the, uh, the Gapper Jacket, and basically the frog now has a coat. And it's good for uh, one, absorbing like one damage, and then it's lost forever. Yeah, you can think of it as like a shield or something. A Gapper shield. So the interesting thing about the fire itself is that it, it travels like along the surfaces of the rocks and stuff. So um I know that's not something you should be doing. You shouldn't concentrate, you should just you know, I don't know, what would you recommend you do instead of concentrating on Anybody, it's an open ended question. Yeah. Uh, okay. so, you're, you're the best at not doing anything. Yeah, so. you could just keep talking. Uh, I, I, <laughs> dude, it's, diffi <laughs> it's, it's difficult, okay? Listen, the boss, so that boss is random, and he gave me good RNG, that's all you need to know. Thanks for clapping for the RNG. And I'm getting a heart container. And the jacket again, because you know, we have to look our best. I mean, look how Just happy it makes him look. It does make him happy. We're gonna do our best to, like, not lose it again, but no promises. Oh, there we go. See? Good thing I didn't promise. Um, on this screen, there's a bunch of, like, wind pushing against you, so it's pretty, pretty annoying. If, like, I'm, I jump without boosting, it's just going to push me back like really far. But you boost constantly to move the fastest anyway, so there's really no, not too much of a game for the boost between, you know, here and up Yeah. Why didn't you get the spurt? Because this isn't your story, obviously. There actually is a hidden weapon in this game. 
uh, called like the Prayer of Blast I think. Uh, you, you have to go to New Game Plus to get it. Oh my god, I can't make this jump. Yeah, this jump you have to be at the apex and then yeah. boost again. I don't think I've like mentioned like the boost during mechanics, but like if you're holding forward, uh, you get like a boost of speed, you know, forward and up diagonally. And so basically the fastest way to move around is to continually jetpack forward. And if you're holding nothing uh, on the D-pad when you boost, the second time you go straight up so you can get pretty high. Yeah, it's everyone's favorite boss basically. Yeah, so what Drek's doing here is he's killing those two and then moving him over here, which is to manipulate where, when he spins like this, his hittable thing is going to be. Uh, yeah. This boss, like, seems really random on your first playthrough, but you can actually, like, manipulate his position, so good deal. But at the same time, he is still very random because the amount of damage you can do to that is, uh, random. It, like, may depend on how much damage he takes, but also, like, how long he's, like, throwing his vines or, mm -hmm. like, yeah, the, those like little Tendril, yeah, yeah, those little tentacles that he throws out uh, during the fight. Uh, the damage cap around isn't calculated during that time, so you can squeeze in more than sixty damage per round. All right, now we're gonna get absorbed by the like, those black food things taken to a train station. For fun reasons, of course. Uh, in this room, the uh, all of these like objects are on a global cycle, so I need to move like, pretty fast there to uh, not get caught up by those like, raining blocks from above. Here, and then we're just demonstrating how absolutely broken the quad is. We're just gonna kill everything. It's gonna kill him things like this thing, killing the like, funky enemies, of course. You know, just anything that can move it here. Is there any uh, new developments in Twitch chat? Any uh, unique iterations on the moon? Uh, no. You, you didn't look very long. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was oh, yeah, me too, dude. I know exactly what you're talking, talking about. Yeah, I don't know. There's a place I can farm up like a lot more coins than there are. So collecting these ones now would be trivial. Uh, through this like train compartment, there's a lot of like enemies. And, uh, so I just need to like mash the button a lot. There we go. Yeah, man. Thanks. There's not a lot to explain, like. All the strats are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning that these like spiders that are on the ceiling move around randomly. I'm using a USB SNES controller. It's the purest way to play this game. That's uh, where I went to collect the coins. The uh, train operator tries to throw a wrench at you because um, he doesn't like you. Yeah, he's but a again, jerk. The quad, yeah, the, the quad kills the wrench. So. Yeah, the reading interrupted him. So. Is he the one that reads or is there another one? There's another one that throws books. None of them are very happy anyway. <laughs> There's no nerds here, thankfully. Okay, so here's like the one serious part of the run. That's all I have to say. Yeah, so this isn't the way that most people beat this boss, but it is faster. 
That also looks swag as hell. If it wasn't like, oh, thank you. <laughs> if it wasn't like uh, readily obvious, the um, the floor is lava there, so you kind of just like stand on the boss and uh, murder him. Yeah, the really difficult part of that strat is to keep jumping and staying on his like little stick body right, above the clock. Every time he, because every time he jumps, he uh, he uh, tries to push you off. So. Preferable to not die here, but it, it's happening. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the first stage thing. It's a pretty good callback. Now we have more birds. Oh, I don't think I'm going to actually explain this, but like, the birds that swoop down at you, they uh, swoop down in the direction that you're facing, so if I uh, just face it back and you're not going to do it, because you're just going to spawn them out. Here's some more of like, the very first boss of the game. I'm gonna kill them for the ones because I need a health upgrade and a, um, a hard drive. Each of them dropped like 100 points, so. So had I uh, not actually, um, you know, messed up and lost my heart shot, I would have not had to kill those guys and waste a bunch of time as a result. Yeah, the important thing about the heart jar is you want it for the final boss coming up because it's just got pretty crazy patterns to his attack. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot easier to just mash on him and then take the death or, and let the heart jar refill you and then finish him off. But it's a lot harder if you have to only rely on five hearts. Yeah, like, it might seem like overkill needing a total of five hearts to uh, defeat the boss, but like, once you see him, it's going to be useful. Because he's the king of, like, projectile spam and, like, randomness. That was fine. Uh, normally, I'd only take one damage in that room, but the uh, two is fine, especially when I have the extra health buffer. Oh no! Oh, oh fuck. fantastic. Well, now you get to see what happens when uh, when you let the, uh, the back get away. No thanks. I'm speedrunning, dude. There's this action pack gameplay has no time for <laughs> So this is like your boss or like your other boss? That you do for Nice, nice number. It's yes. just a cat actually. <laughs> she may or may not be female. She. It's not nice to presume sometimes. That's true. All right, now she goes and summons the final boss. Female. You, know, you you'll see what I was, you know, saying about it is true. This is a big block of ones and zeros. Generally not nice. Yeah, you didn't see it, but there's a cutscene where he like eats your other employees. Yeah, so you can kind of see them inside of him. Oh, well, I should be fine. You know, 
though, should be the only way to work. Oh, sure, dude. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, can we get stuff? <laughs> Alright, I'm glad we could grace the chat with, you know, this frog game. That's, that's right. Who's up next? Oh, Banjo too, yeah. I saw them. So I'm practicing in there. Actually, before I run. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 